side, we are extremely passionate about uh, helping build iconic, very relevant, new age consumer brands. But we are also equally passionate about uh, the opportunity for these brands to be more responsible, more purposeful and try and solve a much bigger problem than just being relevant for the uh, consumers through uh, addressing issues of environment, of society. Our belief is that not only is this requirement of brands to be more responsible and more purposeful, this is also the demand of the new age consumers. The Gen Z and millennial consumers are looking for choices where brands are doing good while they are doing well. And that's important as a mission for us at Fireside as well. One of the big initiatives we took to get started on this journey of how to build this ecosystem is to become a UN PRI signatory. We call our initiative the value of good. And one of the big aspirations for us is to not only become a pioneer to propel this value of good uh, ethos across our portfolio, but to help create collective action across the entire ecosystem to work with partners who provide solutions to our companies across packaging, across diversity, across so many different areas of uh, opportunity and eventually create a movement which can really make a fundamental change to the world through the medium of these exciting consumer brands. Fundamental building blocks for a successful organization is how do we define the purpose of the company, follow it up with a vision, mission, and translate down as a culture in the larger organization. Now, these becomes the fundamental starting point for any great company. To start with, the founders first define the culture, translate it to every single employee in the company, which means everybody buys into that culture. The culture is guided by the vision which is laid out. And, and how do you document that becomes even more important because how does every single employee understand that? So when, when we say uh, governance is key to the building block of an organization, what we mean by that is articulating the vision and culture in a dedicated team right down to the last level. And that, therefore the policies then becomes just not guiding notes, but the policies becomes fundamental to the way we work in an organization. I think this is something which can certainly differentiate a company with a great long-term focus versus a company which is just built to create short-term value. A long-term value therefore can't be built without all of this coming together. And that for us is value of code. One of the biggest problems facing the CPG industry today is uh, the problem of plastic-based packaging and the amount of uh, Unrecyclable waste or unrecycled waste that it creates, and we at Fireside are trying to see how we can make our businesses more sustainable, more responsible. Entrepreneurs today are waking up to this opportunity and are leaning in to imprint this operating model in the DNA of the startups that they're creating. We also looked at the business models of uh, these companies who are trying to create a difference in the way they do their business. And while they might take an on cost in terms of alternative packaging solutions or investing in recycle opportunities and recycle programs, but uh, it shaves off cost from their biggest cost on their PL, which is their marketing cost, because they're able to build equities with their consumers and deep relationships that are very valuable to these brands. In fact, a bunch of our entrepreneurs, like Slurp Farm, for example, is working with Millets, which is already a palm produce that is much more ecologically sustainable or Badham uh, is, has direct relationship with farmers at tea gardens and is investing in their growth and development or in alphabet who is thinking about mobility and the lowest way for people to be mobile from an energy perspective. Uh, we at Fireside want to create an ecosystem to enable them to be able to take up these uh, principles and practices in a seamless manner. So we have enabled uh, partnerships with uh, uh, recycling companies like the disposal company, we have enabled uh, them to offset their carbon footprint, actually track it and then offset it with ecosystem partners. We have also enabled them to 
critically look at each element of their packaging and start eliminating plastic or the use of virgin plastic in their supply chains. Uh, and we'll continue to do so and remain invested in this journey with our founders. Diversity, equity, inclusion. Why are these things important for a business to focus on? At Fireside, this is not just another tick in the box. This is something that we think is extremely important uh, for our business. And I'll tell you a few reasons uh, why. Uh, if you're all from the same background, you know, same business school, uh, men coming from a certain socioeconomic class, we also tend to think alike. Now the world is changing and when you've got group thing going on, it's highly likely that you may not figure out what is happening around the world and that can be very dangerous for your business. Diversity also tends to promote transparency and organizations which are more transparent are also more equitable, create a sense of fair play and that helps people in the organization to want to stay in that organization and do their best for the organization. And again, when you're talking about engagement with the organization, its purpose, that sense of inclusivity is extremely important. Now, we in specific uh, are a consumer business and fully 50% of our founders are women. And that feels very natural to us because you know uh, many of the products that our companies sell are either used or bought by women and therefore it's extremely important for us that our companies are connected to the consumers that they are marketing to and that's again very important for us at fireside as a consumer business to know where consumers are going so for us diversity is not just a good thing to focus on it's a key success factor